Welcome to McNulty's Book Corral. I'm your host, Thomas McNulty, and today we're talking about the legendary Robin Hood, the bandit of Sherwood Forest who robbed from the rich and gave to the poor. Of all of the many legends and books and films about Robin Hood, the one to start with is The Merry Adventures of Robin Hood by Howard Pyle, originally published in 1883. That is the book that set the standard for Robin Hood legends to come. Now, Howard Pyle was both a writer and an illustrator. And his book, while a work of fiction, was inspired by ancient Robin Hood legends. But Howard Pyle, being the creative writer that he was, made up a lot of stuff. For example, many of the images and scenes that we're familiar with from the many motion pictures all originated with Howard Pyle, such as the meeting of Friar Tuck, the fight with the quarterstaves over the, over the stream, um, having Friar Tuck carry him out of the stream, and all of those relationships with the Merry Men, much of that originated with Howard Pyle. He was, at heart, a storyteller. He wrote the book, and he illustrated the book. Now, Howard Pyle was a, a, a great, renowned illustrator, and he also was a teacher. And many of his students later became renowned artists themselves, such as N.C. Wyeth. Howard Pyle was born in 1853 and died in 1911. In 1933, a book was published celebrating the continued success of The Merry Adventures of Robin Hood. This is the book that had a profound influence on Douglas Fairbanks for his silent film version of the Robin Hood legend, which incidentally is a great film. It's available on DVD. I'm not clear if it's available on Blu-ray yet. Douglas Fairbanks, was his, his production was really the first major production of the Robin Hood legend. We'll get to the Errol Flynn version and the others in a moment. So celebrating the continued success of the book, they put out this Brandywine edition. It's called the Brandywine edition because Howard Pyle's art school was called the Brandywine School. And N.C. Wyeth, a future acclaimed artist himself, wrote the introduction and a remembrance of Howard Pyle for this uh, early 1930s edition. And he also provided the uh, uh, an illustrated front piece. This is the N.C. Wyeth front piece that you see on the cover. And it's also included in the interior here and followed by N.C. Wyeth, A Recollection, which is his memories of Howard Pyle. Howard Pyle was obviously gone by the time he did that. And the remainder of the book is a standard reprint of The Merry Adventures of Robin Hood, which includes the original text by Howard Pyle as well as his illustrations throughout. The book is profusely illustrated with all sorts of design flourishes throughout many original illustrations that Howard Pyle did. All of Howard Pyle's books were illustrated by Howard Pyle himself. He also did books on King Arthur, Sir Lancelot. He did a book with President Woodrow Wilson who wrote the text for a book about George Washington. So Howard Pyle was really a, 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 an interesting guy a continuously a best-selling author during his lifetime and after. So the Brandywine edition of The Merry Adventures of Robin Hood by Howard Pyle is easily found on eBay. It's not expensive. However, you do see divergent prices. You can see it for $15 on eBay or you can find it for $200. Obviously, you don't need to spend that much on it. The book is widely available. There were thousands of these printed and reprinted. The book remains in print. You can find it on Amazon in a variety of different editions. Some of those editions have the original illustrations by Howard Pyle, and some of them don't. Some of them are just straight text. No matter what edition that you find, it's a fun book to read. Now, this book also had an influence uncredited on the famous 1938 Warner Brothers production starring Errol Flynn and Olivia de Havilland, which is, incidentally, my number one favorite film. I know you're surprised. You're thinking I would say it's a, it should be a Western. It's my number one favorite film because the 1938 Warner Brothers production represents for me what a motion picture should be. 
It is one of numerous dozens of film versions of the Robin Hood legend, the bandit who robbed from the rich and gave to the poor. Kevin Costner, Russell Crowe, Richard Green, Sean Connery, uh, so many other actors, wonderful actors, have played the role of Robin Hood. Robin Hood is a character that will live forever, and I th- and I'm fine with that. I think it's great. I look forward to all of the different films because I think it's a great story. The legend of Robin Hood is one that will never die. The character is eternal. He inspires us. I put together this little montage here um, with pr- predominantly scenes from the Warner Brothers production as a tribute to a good friend of mine, Trudy McVicker, who recently passed away. Take a look at the montage that I put together and enjoy looking back at the thrilling days of yesteryear when Robin Hood was the bandit of Sherwood Forest, fighting injustice, robbing the rich, giving to the poor. Enjoy. (laughs) 